three, two, one, go. We'll go through this, 30 box jumps, and then 15 clean and jerks at 95 pounds. There are 240 total repetitions in this workout. And we will keep you updated on where each athlete is in the workout. And, and right away, you notice the technique that Ben Smith is util utilizing compared to the other two. Um, he's doing the rebound technique where obviously he hits the ground, rebounds right back up. But he's taking an extra gather step to kind of move his feet towards the back half of the box. That allows him to land a little bit more reliably on the rebound to make sure he's not off balance. Sean Sweeney is jumping right down, and we've seen him a couple times already struggle to balance with that box jump once he lands on top of it. But ben Smith first to the 30 clean and jerks at 95 pounds as we are approaching the one minute mark. And now Sean Sweeney on to his reps, and Jason Carroll in third place. A lot of work still to remain here as Ben Smith takes a quick break. And look at Jason Carroll's technique. He's almost kind of strict pressing a little bit, utilizing very little hip drive for the shoulder to overhead. Um, you know, that could present a problem if he's pretty fatigued towards the back half, but this is a primarily a leg workout. So he could be saving the, the, the drive, the hip drive and the leg power for some of those later rounds when he gets to the heavier barbell. And the clock on your screen is unofficial. We're past the 90 second mark and now Ben Smith is done with his 15 clean and jerks at 95 pounds. Back to the box, 30 box jumps, and now the weight will increase to 135. And for those of you who are going to do this workout, you can have someone load your barbell. However, once you start doing the movements, they cannot move your barbell. So if you're doing clean and jerks and you drop it, it bounces away, you have to go get it. You can't rely on someone else to do that. And towards the back of your screen, Sean Sweeney has already received a couple of no reps for that same reason I mentioned as before. He's jumping right back down into his rebound, um, and he's unable to balance at the top. Remember, on top of landing, you have to show control at the top of the box while your hips are open. You can't be leaning back, falling back, um, and it's already cost him a few reps already. The Ben Smith was first to the box. Sean Sweeney was second in round two, and Jason Carroll is in third. Now, we'd fail to mention this at the top. There's some money riding on this. There is. The winner of this workout will receive two grand, courtesy of Toyota of Walnut Creek. Second place finisher will walk away with one grand. Yep. So a nice little uh, bit of pocket change. And third place has to clean up all the weights. Ben Smith, first man to 135 pounds. 15 reps here. And then the weight will once again increase, but the reps will decrease. Approaching the three minute mark, 20 minute time cap. Now Sean Sweeney, he's on to his set of 15 clean and jerks at 135. And Sweeney breaking them up from the beginning, choosing to go singles here. Ben Smith down to singles as well. Interesting enough, Ben knocked out a quick chunk while he felt fresh on the barbell, knowing that he's gonna create a little bit of a lead ahead of these guys and then goes back to singles to kind of match up the pace with everyone else. Ben Smith is through 10 of his 15 reps. Now three left to go for Ben Smith, as he is your early leader here. 240 total repetitions, 20 minute time cap. And we are three and a half minutes and change in, now approaching three minutes, 40 seconds in. Ben Smith on his final clean and jerk at 135. Back to the box, this will be his final set of box jumps, 30 repetitions, and then 10 clean and jerks at 185. Meanwhile, Sean Sweeney has two reps to go. And Jason Carroll is one rep back of him, so that's the battle for second place. And Jason Carroll, also a member of that Trash Talk Thursday crew, and in three years, he has yet to be punished. He's managed to kind of skirt the embarrassment <laughs> of uh, all the punishments that those guys are throwing left and right. Although, admittedly out of the group, this might be a workout that could trip him up because of the heavy barbell at the end. Ben Smith continues to lead. This is his third and final set of box jumps. Once he's done with these 30, he will have completed 120, so halfway for those 240 reps. 
I think Jason's really trying to save his legs here. You notice he has stepped down every single box jump um, through the first few rounds and continues to do so here. You can tell he's kind of worried about those heavier barbells as he gets later on. Um, interesting enough, he's effectively kind of doing the negative part of a lunge when he comes down for that, so I wonder if he's really conserving there. Ben Smith, now on the bar well, bar barbell. He's halfway through the workout as far as reps concerned. Now we're just five and minutes, four seconds in. So Ben Smith, your clear leader here. 10 clean and jerk now at 185 pounds. Sean Sweeney, done with his final set of box jumps. And pay attention to when these guys come off the box. Um, for the box jumps and the pistols, those are the, the marks for the, tie, uh, the tiebreaker here, because we actually do have a tiebreaker this round. So it's not just coming off and finishing what you think is the round on the barbell. Coming off the box or later rounds, the pistols is what actually gives you the time break. Four reps to go for Ben Smith at 185. Sean Sweeney, he is on the right of your screen. He is in second. And Jason Carroll sits in third. And again, $2,000 to the winner here, $1,000 to second place. Five to go for Sweeney at 185. After this, the pistols start. 30 one-legged squats after this set of clean and jerks. I mean, all of these, all of this loading for the barbell, for the box jumps, all of this is relatively minor as far as these elite athletes are go. This, these first few rounds are essentially a warm up for these guys. Get their heart rate up a little bit, get their blood pumping a little bit, and then start to ramp up the skill and strength, forcing them to do the pistols and the heavier barbell once you're already a little bit tired. Ben Smith, the first man on to the single legged squats. He will now complete 30 of these. You have to alternate legs. And then it's on to the 225 pound barbell, 10 reps at 225. Sean Sweeney now on to the pistols. We mentioned Ben's knee injury that he's recovering for. That's actually his second knee surgery. On the, on, he's had one each on both knees so far. You can see how very methodical he is in his pacing. Sean Sweeney actually going a little bit faster than him, maybe a little bit more reckless um, on the pace just because he has to make up ground. But Ben being very smooth, almost every rep looks identical. Um, I guarantee you his judge is pretty happy about that. Jason Carroll on the left of your screen is now onto his pistols and he's moving at a much more quicker, much more uh, quick, I should say, much more quickly than Ben Smith and Sean Sweeney. And as you said, uh, leading into this, this is what he's gonna like. And this is where Jason Carroll started to make his move. And he kind of has to, right? If, if he's not necessarily gonna A, either finish this or B, compete with these other athletes, he's gotta push each round of pistols to make make sure he has the best tiebreaker possible because that could be worth precious spots on the leaderboard for an athlete that's not just competing for a spot at the game but for spots at sanctionals as well that are using the open ben smith now through 162 of the 240 total reps as he is on to his 10 clean and jerks at 225 pounds sean sweeney on the right of your screen now on to his clean and jerks at 225 at 225 and now jason carroll has made up some ground and he will move to the 225 pound barbell. Jason Carroll really taking his time to this barbell, still relatively early on on the 225. Jason Carroll with his first rep down. Meanwhile, Ben Smith just four to go as he continues to lead Sean Sweeney, who is able to cut into Smith's lead a little bit on that first set of 31 legged squats. Eight and a half minutes gone by here. 20 minute time cap should not be a problem for any of these athletes. And Sweeney has made up some considerable ground. He's only three reps behind, make that two reps now behind Ben Smith going into these later barbells. You have to assume he's gonna make up even more ground with the pacing on the pistols given what we saw in the first set of 30. Final rep of 225 for Ben Smith, that will count. And now 30 more one-legged squats and the weight will increase to 275 pounds. Ben Smith threw 200 of the 240 total repetitions, so creeping closer to the finish of this workout as Sean Sweeney is on to his final two reps at 225, and Jason Carroll on the left of your screen is starting to creep up here. He has five reps to go. If he can get back on the barbell, he can maybe reel in Sweeney. I think Sweeney maybe pushed the pace a little bit in the first half of those 225s and the pistols because he's really starting to take longer breaks. Actually allowed Ben to kind of regain a little bit of his lead. 
so much. So ben took a break during the pistol, and he's already done through half of them by the time Sweeney has gotten. He was just a couple reps behind him through most of those cleans. And Sweeney now is onto his one-legged squats. And ben Smith continues to lead. Jason Carroll with three reps to go at 225. Approaching the 10 minute mark, the halfway point here in 20.4. Yeah. First time we have ever seen one legged squats in the open. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. When Smith is done with these one legged squats, he moves on to that 275 pound barbell. Five reps here. Man, that 275 looked real easy for Ben Smith. And now Jason Carroll has finally finished the 225 and he'll move on to his second set of 30. The one benefit of Ben Smith having such perfect technique on the pistols, able to keep his heel down, utilize his hamstrings, his glutes, posterior chain a little bit more. Um, it takes a little bit of pressure off the quads, that front half of the leg that's used to be a little bit more springy that you see in this power cleans and that jerk overhead. You notice as he does these clean and jerk reps, he's a little bit more forward on his foot. It's a different set of muscles that you're using there, and he's managed to save a little energy there by having better technique on the pistols. Ben Smith with two to go at 275. And Jason Carroll, meanwhile, is on his second set. He's on the left side of your screen of 31-legged squats. And now Sean Sweeney is getting set to approach the 275-pound barbell as he's putting on a lifting belt. Ben Smith wearing one as well. And now one rep to go for Smith at 275. First rep good for Sweeney. Final rep now for Ben Smith at 275. And Smith is done. 35 reps remain for Ben Smith, approaching the 12 minute mark, 20 minute time cap. Final set of 31 legged squats and then five clean and jerks at 315 pounds for the 2015 fittest man on earth. And now we're starting to see the cumulative effect of these clean and jerks and all this leg work. Sean Sweeney just had to switch finally to actually stand up the clean all the way, take a little bit of time to gather for the jerk and then drive, even though he pushed jerk it overhead, his feet kicked out a little bit, technique started to break down a little bit. And Sweeney will hit that as he is now two reps away from finishing his set at 275 pounds. Jason Carroll, meanwhile, is on to the 275 pound barbell. He is now on the left of your screen. And it's Ben Smith in the middle who's the leader. Final set of 31 legged squats. And that rep is good for Jason Carroll. Two to go, meanwhile, for Sean Sweeney. And you can see right there by Jason switching to the split that Maybe the jerk isn't as what he's as confident as some of these other athletes sticking with a push jerk or a power jerk. And Jason having to switch to the split, taking a little bit more time. This is really where the kind of crux of the workout is for him. And can he get through these 275 in a timely manner to give himself a shot at 315? 13 minutes gone by, 1304 to be exact. And Ben Smith is just about done. And he is finished with his final set of one-legged squats. Five reps remain for Ben Smith at 315 pounds. And now Sean Sweeney is done at 275. He will move on to his final set of one-legged squats. We'll see how this first rep at 315 looks for Ben. I think it's kind of a little poetic justice that we, we first saw kind of this technique applied where we, you catch and immediately drive over to the overhead position. With Ben back in 2013, we had seen it with the lighter weights, but Ben did it with three wheels on the bar at the games, and no one had really seen that before. So. And the first rep is down for Ben Smith, four to go. He stood that up really easy, but clearly you, you could tell he wanted to make sure that he wasn't gonna get a costly no rep here. The last thing you wanna do at the end of a workout is have to repeat a clean and jerk at 315. Plenty of time for Ben Smith. We're past the 14 minute mark, 14.08 and counting. Jason Carroll still working on 275. He just left view on the left. Smith working on his second rep. 
And that will count for Ben Smith. Three to go for Ben Smith. And that's one of the things that makes him so good for so long. It's really kind of the, the championship caliber athlete that he is. The ability to switch between those techniques seamlessly, right? He spent 90% of that workout power cleaning right into a push jerk overhead. And then suddenly when you have 315 on the bar, he switches to a full clean and a split jerk. And it doesn't really, it looks like he's been doing that technique the entire time. Jason Carroll on his final rep at 275. And Carroll will hit that, so Jason Carroll will move on to his final set of 31-legged squats. And he does have time to make a few runs at 315. Now, Ben Smith is looking like he may not give this another try. He looked over at somebody and just sort of shook his head, but he has three to go here. Yeah, something looked a little off there. He looked to the side and shook his head no. But Smith is going to make another run. He has three to go. Sweeney hits his first. Smith now with his third down at 315. Two to go. Jason Carroll still working on his final set of one-legged squats. If I'm Jason, I'm rifling through these to get a better, tie, uh, a, a better tiebreaker time here because we saw him struggle with the 275. Doesn't look like he's gonna have enough time to finish this workout, so give yourself the best shot on the leaderboard that you can and get through that tie break. Here's attempt number four for Smith. One to go for Ben Smith. Past the 16 minute mark, 20 minute time cap. So Ben Smith looking like he's gonna finish 20.4 and maybe cash a check for 2,000 bucks. Uh, that'll pay for his plane flight back home to uh, <laughs> Chesapeake, Virginia. Super impressive, Ben, making the trip across the country to be here. Shows up and is putting in some fantastic work. John Sweeney's second attempt at 3.05. The final barbell here. Sweeney will hit that. Now here goes Ben Smith setting up for his final rep at 3.15. And that'll count. Ben Smith takes 20.4. Give that man 2,000 bucks, Tommy. That's a nice little payday for about 16 minutes worth of work, you know? I'd take that. But ben Smith with an impressive performance here. And he will finish unofficially around 1640. We'll wait till we get the official time from the judges. It's Jason Carroll and Sean Sweeney left to battle it out for second. $1,000 to the second place finisher here. And Sweeney has about a two rep lead on Jason Carroll. And now, if he hits this, it'll be a three rep lead. And Sweeney, it cannot hit the jerk. That, I think right, that right there was the crux of his workout. If he hits that jerk, he's got two left. He could go on the minute at 18 and 19 minutes, maybe give himself a shot at finishing. Uh, that's a lot of a lot of effort that doesn't necessarily go down in the scorecard. Here's Jason Carroll at 315. Carroll will stand it up. He cannot hit the jerk. That was still a fantastic uh, save from Carroll on the clean. He started to rock forward, was able to regain his balance, pull himself back onto his heels and stand that up. But how impressive was Ben Smith? Amazing, and we talked about, one of the things I mentioned earlier was rhythm and cadence and adjusting technique. Ben, ben Smith's technique looked flawless the entire time. Pistol technique on point, clean and jerk technique on point, was able to switch between techniques at will when things got heavy and more difficult. Um, and, you know, it's, what hasn't this guy done in the sport? And, and he just showcases why he's, like Logan Vanderpool said earlier tonight, he's CrossFit royalty. Less than 90 seconds to go, speaking of impressive, how about the tensile strength on that bodysuit that Marcin Sawyers is wearing? That thing is being pushed to its limits. I really hope that's some uh, <laughs> carbon fiber thread that they use for that, because he's about to bust out. And Sweeney will hit that. So two to go for Sean Sweeney. We're almost at 19 minutes gone by. So Sweeney We've hit that mark now. One minute to go. So Sweeney actually switched out his shoes. He put on his Olympic lifting shoes. He had his regular nanos on before. And Carroll for the jerk. Almost had it. Closer than the last time. I think Sweeney's gearing up for one last lift. 40 seconds for Sean Sweeney. He's keeping an eye on the clock.
gave the crowd a little treat there. Sean Sweeney came out, he handed out the uh, obligatory photos of himself to the crowd, also some bracelets as well. And now the hat's on. This thing better go up, Tommy. It's the power of the hat, it will count. With 10 seconds to spare, Sean Sweeney gets four of his five lifts at 315. Three, two, and one. And at that, 20.4 is in the books. And it's gonna be Ben Smith who takes it. We'll wait for the official time.